Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing the Dal RC engine ESC. Now this is a 4-in-1 ESC from Dal RC and it also has a flight controller which connects via pins and we're not going to be testing the stack together today. What we're doing is we're sticking it with a Maytek F405. All the links are in the description down below if you wanted to check them out. Now we are testing the Dal RC engine with the Maytek just because we want to keep our tests consistent. The Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC was also tested with the Maytek F405 CTR. Now if you're curious and you want to see how the stack performs, that'll be in an upcoming video, maybe three videos from now, four to five days, I'll have that video up and ready. But today we're going to be taking a look at the same setup as the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC with the Dal RC engine and seeing how well it performs. So we're going to be testing flight, aggressive flight maneuver noise as well as throttle noise and we're also going to be adding just one 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor to one of the tests just so we can do exactly what we did with the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC and seeing how well they perform. Now don't think that if this one loses it's it's a bad ESC these are the best two ESCs I've ever tested and uh, we're about to see how this one's gonna test so enough talking let's just jump to it Alright guys, so the results are in here and now we're going to compare the Dal RC engine against the Tico 32 4 one ESC. And uh, these are the best two 4 one ESCs I've tested previously with our old testing setup which was just one motor on the complete 4 one ESC. So let's take a look here. Now first testing results we're going to take a look at the throttle noise. And this is 10% throttle, 25%. 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle on all of them. And uh, on the left side here, we have the Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC, and on the right, we have the Dal RC engine. Now, uh, just immediately looking at them, the, this is obviously a very good result. And um, I've mentioned that in a previous video. If you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. You can find the Tico 32, and I'll get into this in detail. Now, what you want to see is you want to see these lines as thin as possible. And um, it's really kind of hard to tell here what's really going on. That's why I set up the colored versions. And wherever the red is, that's where the, mo mo the voltage was mostly at. So we would have like, you know, these little hiccups that would go up here, but not as much as where the red is. So the voltage is really just here at a high frequency. And uh, as you can tell here, just looking at it, you can see that the Tico 32 is obviously better. 
Now, that doesn't make the Dell RC engine terrible. Now, keep that in mind. These are the best two ESCs. They are pretty similar in noise in a way, but I think you can actually tell that the Dell RC engine has a little bit more noise in the FPV video feed. So, in that perspective, yeah, the, the, actually, the Tico 32 would win. It's in first place, and like I mentioned, Tico, the Dell RC engine is in second place in terms of filtration. Now, I've done real-world testing on the Dell RC engine, and I love it. I still haven't set up a Tico 32 just yet. So we'll be doing that in an upcoming video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the aggressive flight maneuver noise. So let me pull up the, let's see, where is it? Okay, so this is the Dell RC engine noise here. So let's put that here. And we're gonna get the colored version. There it is. All right, so there we go. All right, so on the right side here, now we have the Dell RC engine noise. And now on the right side here, we have the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC noise. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. There we go. All right, so as you can tell here, they are pretty much almost neck and neck, kind of. But um, obviously, you know, the Dollar C engine was still more susceptible to a lot more voltage spikes. And I'm noticing that uh, the noise is at a much higher frequency on the Dollar RC engine. They're about the same, but obviously the, the Tico 32 wins here, uh, without a doubt. But this is still a very good result. I mean, let me show you some uh, terrible ones where I've showed you before, but just to get an idea here. Um, I don't know. Here's a here's a new name ESC that I got from Bango. This is what you don't want to see. Can you see that? that that's the, you don't want to see this. Um, here is, for example, Gemfan, the Gemfan Maverick ESC. Uh, this stuff. This is what you don't want to see. So this is a very good result at the current moment of time. So overall, obviously the Tico 32 is better. If you're looking for the best, I still believe it's the best in terms of filtration. But its only downside is there's so many capacitors on board that a lot of people, while they're putting their standoffs in. They're popping some of the caps off the Tico 32. Uh, however, the Dell RC engine comes with a nice fat heatsink, which keeps it uh, pretty cool. And at the same time, it protects the overall components that are on the board. So now let's take a look at something else. Now let's take a look at the tests with a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor on each. So let's go ahead and take a look at this together now. So we're going to first start with the throttle noise here. So let me go ahead and get the Tico 32. So here's a Tico 32. This is the throttle noise with one 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. And here it is colored so we can get a better look. And now let's pull up the Dal RC engine here. And there it is. Okay. So noise. Nope. We need throttle. Here's the throttle. Okay. So here's a throttle with a 470 microfarad on both of them. The same exact one. It's a Rubicon. I'll leave a link to it down below. Uh, they are very, very good low ESR capacitors. And I highly recommend you pick up as much as possible. You'll get like 10 for 2 bucks, which is a very good deal, especially if it's going to protect and give you super clean uh, video feed in your overall system. So, all right, let's take a look at this. So with the... 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor, they are even closer together. It really soaked up most of the voltage spikes on the Dell RC engine. And the Dell RC engine is obviously the one on the right at the current moment of time. And this is a Tico 32. So they are pretty, pretty neck and neck here. Um, if we take a look, like just for example, let's take a 75% throttle. That's the most noisy here. So let's just zoom in a little bit and then we'll just zoom in a little bit here. So as you can tell here, uh, the Tico is better because you see the red line, it's a little bit thinner than the, oh wait, if we make it exactly like this, that's about the same. Oh, they're actually about the same, uh, but you do have a little bit more hiccups on the Dell RC engine, as you can tell here, it's popping up, it's getting these little uh, voltage spikes. This kind of does um, reduce efficiency, but if it's worse than this, but this still has some ex some effect, some some loss of efficiency to some certain extent that I just don't have the data or I'm not able to prove at the current moment of time. But in theory, that's what's going on. But this is neck and neck. This is beautiful results from both of them. So now let's jump to the aggressive flight maneuvers with a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor on each of them. And then I'm going to show you how the Dell RC engine, the same one with and without low ESR capacitor, how, how well those perform. So let's see the aggressive flight maneuvers. There we go with a this is the Dell RC engines noise there we go this is with a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor uh, Rubicon to be exact all right so and let's pick up the Tico 32 noise uh, there it is with the 470 okay and we need this one so we get a better idea so as you can tell here they're still all neck and neck which is very nice to see obviously here something happened 
uh, you couldn't really tell what's going on here. So I really don't know what this was here. Maybe I have to redo a couple more tests to double check this. But overall, they are pretty much neck and neck. As you can see, the um, the 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor soaked up those nasty voltage spikes that it was having. They weren't that bad. I'm just just I need to clarify this. Uh, just because I'm comparing these two, these two are the best. Once I get, I'm, I have a couple crappier ones we'll be testing so you can get an even better idea but the current moment of time uh the dell rc engine is a very good esc and the the our previous testing results were absolutely spot on uh telling us that it, it would be the second best esc and this proves it to us just uh they're, they're basically neck and neck with a low esr capacitor which is very nice to see so you're still getting amazing results on both of these which is really nice so let's take a look now um at the Dal RC engine noise without a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor compared to the 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor noise. So now we're looking just at the Dal RC engine. So let me just prepare everything. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now, this is all the Dal RC engines. On the left side, we have no capacitor, no 470 low ESR capacitor. On the right side, we have the cap installed. And as you can tell here, that one cap does a dramatic difference like literally like it cuts everything by half which is very nice look at this you, you really don't have this area no more it's just barely slipping every once in a while right there so you know i they also provide you with the lois R capacitor which is very nice so this is how what you would get if you add that lois R capacitor which is a decent it's not decent it's a good esc so yeah, these two are still winners in my book. Um, I've tested the LRC engine in real world. That's, that's one of my favorite quads now. And uh, the Tico is going to be upcoming soon. I might just replace it on the same quad just to see how well it feels also. And um, the, the the motors sound incredibly smooth, like buttery smooth. And a lot of people know what I'm talking about when they switch from bad ESCs to something like the Tico. You can see it in previous comments when people tell me and some people email me. And you will know when your motors are running very nice. Especially, you could totally hear it. It's very distinct. It's not like you have to listen hard. You just have to listen both sounds. Crappy ESCs and good ESCs. And you can totally hear it in your motors. They're just saying thank you. I just feel so buttery right now. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope hope it was very useful to some, someone out there especially in making your decision and purchasing something and uh, please consider joining my patreon help support this channel you don't only support this channel you get awesome giveaways and you could also use the links down below i have links to everything down below uh if you could use those that'll be super awesome and that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time see you guys take care